What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be talking about how to take your low and no content book business to the next level. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every single day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're serious about low and no content, then check out that link in the description below to go to the LCB Vault. In this membership, I add brand new trainings every single week on everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So, taking your book business to the next level, how can you do this? Well, it's simple. You need to start paying for tools. Now, Creative Fabrica is one of my most favorite websites slash tools to use because I get all my graphics and fonts from there. Now, when starting out, you don't need these tools. All you need are free ones. You can use free Canva, Google Slides, Pixabay. There's so many different sites out there which you can create your books with and you can start for free. But once you've started creating royalties, you then want to use that money to invest in your business and buy great tools. Now, a few tools that I've invested into myself and I pay every single month, again, is Creative Fabrica. Because on here, you've got all these different types of fonts, so many different types of graphics. If you pay for the membership, then you get unlimited downloads on all of your graphics. So I really love this site. And then with Canva. So Canva is what I actually use to create all of my book covers. I even use it to create my interiors or definitely my interiors for my kids low content books because it makes things so much simple or simpler. Now I pay for the Canva Pro version is because we can have unlimited folders. So I create all of these different folders around different niches to put all my graphics in. We actually get unlimited storage just here, so you can upload as many images as you want, whereas with the free version, you only get one gigabyte. Now, also what you can do if you've got your dimensions off slightly and Amazon won't accept your book, you can simply just go in and within a matter of seconds change the size of that design so there's a real there's some real good features that you get with the canva paid version and this is one of the tools that i do recommend but this is how you take your book business to the next level you want to invest into tools to help grow your business see it's all well and good starting with free tools Heck, that's how I started. I didn't really use any money to start my business. And like all the way up until, I'm not actually sure which month, but all of this was pretty much free money. And then I started using my royalties to invest in tools to help me grow my business. See, there's probably thousands of publishers or low and no content publishers on Amazon that only use free tools. So if we go to Pixabay, I don't know why that's pulled up that bit. Oh, let's actually do that again. Sorry about that. So Pixabay, go there, do that. So there must be thousands of publishers on Amazon that only use free graphics. Pixabay is a great source for free traffics. But there's going to be so many people doing that. So if you're paying for your graphics, whether that's on Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, or any other paid alternatives, if you're paying for your graphics, you can make better quality books. 
there's going to be less people actually doing that because they don't want to invest into their business. So it's going to make your books really stand out. Same with fonts. So I now get all my fonts from Creative Fabrica as well because it's part of the bundle that I actually pay for. We get all these different graphics. I mean, look at that. You could create some really good books with um, that font. I meant to say fonts. We get some really great fonts, not graphics, fonts that we can create our books with. I mean, look at all this. So if you're creating your books with paid fonts, and paid graphics then you can really make your books stand out so if you have the paid version of canva you can also upload your own fonts as well so upload custom fonts for your brand so this is just one of the ways that you take your business to the next level start investing into your business start using your royalties to pay for graphics fonts websites or whatever but it's all about investing into your business and that's how you can get better results now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos now, that being said i've been paddy this has been stacking profit and I'll see you again soon.